The parts that have already been commenced are mainly those that establish the Legal Services Regulatory Authority, but not those that enable it to commence its statutory functions of regulating the profession. Currently, the SLRA is carrying out many regulatory functions as agent for the Registrar of the Supreme Court, who remains statutorily responsible. The bill will render the LSRA a fit-for-purpose regulator of the legal profession, enabling the general public to be adequately protected whilst ensuring the independence of the legal profession. Clause 32 amends Section 6 of the Traffic Act 2005 in order to allow temporary examiners to be appointed for the purposes of examining drivers. The DVLD experienced a backlog of appointments due to the pandemic and should similar issues arise in the future, the licensing authority would, for example, be able to engage retired examiners on a short-term basis to deal with the workload. The new clause 3.4 amends section 65.2 of the Traffic Act 2005 to address the concerns raised by the Royal Gibraltar Police that a police officer has no legal power to require a person to provide a blood sample unless the police officer has first been advised by a medical pr practitioner that the condition of that person may be, may be due to a drug. As the law currently stands, this requirement adds to the time and expense to process an individual. That is because a medical practitioner would need to conduct his own impairment test rather than rely on the RGP's preliminary drug test. The Royal Gibraltar Police have raised concerns over the level of some of the fixed penalty notices for traffic offences as being too low to act as deterrence. A review is being conducted to make appropriate amendments, and this is a first stage of the process designed to ensure that there will, be, that there will not be a discrepancy between the level of FPN and the underlying penalty for the offence.